Hello there and welcome to today's practice. Today we're going to do Qigong body tapping exercise. This is a great way to release any stagnant energy in the body, especially in the joints. It helps to improve circulation throughout the body and naturally increase your energy levels. Something you can do first thing in the morning before headed out to work or any time during the day when you need that natural boost of energy. But before we begin, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Kseni and I'm passionate about the practice of Qigong. I've been sharing videos on YouTube so more people can discover Qigong and fall in love with this beautiful practice. I also have a membership site when I do weekly live classes with a group. We meet every Sunday on Zoom and we have an amazing collective energy that is very healing, very restorative. If this sounds good, you can join the membership anytime with a few simple steps. I'm going to leave more information for you in the description below this video. Go ahead and get ready and let's begin today's practice. Begin in a standing position. Take a moment here to adjust your alignment. Make sure your spine is nice and long. Make sure that your feet firmly planted on the ground. Give way in your knees. Relax your hips. Relax your neck and shoulders. Then bring your hands together and wrap gently until they feel nice and warm. Through this gentle friction, we improve circulation to the hands, increasing sensitivity of the hands, bringing the energy to the hands. So when you begin to feel that pleasant warmth coming through, this is a good sign. Good. And then extend one arm and we're going to tap around the joints. Starting from the shoulder joint. Then come down to the elbow joint. give it a good tap all around and then move down to the wrist joint. Good, relax. Same on the other side, extend. Then move down to the elbow. Keep it firm, but fairly light as well, so it feels pleasant. You shouldn't feel like you're hurting yourself, but you want to have that good, firm pressure to stimulate the points, to release any stagnant energy. Yes, I agree. <laughs> that was a total yes. Good. Relax your hands. From here, we're going to tap the forehead and the temples from side to side. Three times with one hand and then three times with the other hand. Trying to get to the muscles. And once more. Very good. Go ahead and gently tap the center of the cheeks and the jawline. Very good. Shake your hands. Next, we're going to knock on the head. Make sure you tap the crown of the head the Bai Hui point and then behind the ears a few times moving towards the neck and down to the very bottom of the neck good relax mm. From here, making your hands 
entire cup, allowing a little bit of air to stay in the center of your palm. And then we're going to knock the back of the shoulder. Good, we change sides. So any stress or tension that you may be carrying in your upper back, just knock it out. Relax. From here, lightly with the fingertips, we're going to tap up and down the center line of the chest. Oh, look at you two. Just finding yourself, maybe broadening your chest a little bit, put a smile on your face, open the front of the neck. Very, very good. And then go ahead and knock on the ribs, making your hands into a loose fist. This is quite beneficial for the internal organs, especially the organs that are located in this area. This is our liver, this is stomach and spleen, the pancreas. Good. And then we're going to knock three times clockwise and then change the direction three times the other way. Good. Relax, shake it loose. Next, we're going to move down to the hips and the kidney area. So make your hands into loose fist, and I like to start by knocking on the sides of the glutes. <laughs> Staying focused, sides of the glutes, a little bit down to the side of the leg. Good, then move to the tailbone, give it a good knock. And once more, big joints, big muscles. Very good. Relax. From here, we're going to place the hands on the lower back. And I like to combine the massage with the tapping. So generating the warmth through the friction. Good, and then finish as well by lightly tapping on the kidney area and the lower back. Very good. Okay, so just take a moment here to let your hands relax, but also kind of feel what's happening in your body as you begin to open up through the joints, improving circulation, your body begin to feel different and it sends you signals. So usually signals that it feels good, it's comforting, it's warm, sense of kind of activation. So just keep a mental note of all those physical sensations in your body. From here, we're going to lift the leg up and we're going to kind of tap the sides of the legs and the knee joint. So, no particular order, just give it a good wake-up call. The top and the bottom, the side. Put it down and switch. You can always keep your foot down if your balance is affected or you're just working on your balance so it's not quite there yet. So minimizing any stress, keep your foot down or on the ground. Good tap around the knee joint, open up and relax. Okay, and for the feet, I like to do a little tap in as well. So just knock, on the floor. This feels especially good if you're practicing bare feet, activating all the points on our feet. It doesn't have to be harsh. Good. And we'll do the same on the other side. 
Good. Just knock, knock, knock. And shake. Shake your arms, shake your legs. Total reset. Mm -hmm. Very good. And we're going to finish by kind of bouncing into the heels to shake and vibrate all the muscles in our body. Come up on your toes and then bounce. Loosen up. A few of those at your own pace. Bounce. Keep your spine nice and straight. Lower back nice and open, quite neutral. And you feel that subtle vibration traveling up through your spine, into your brain, into your head. And once more, bounce. Good. Nice big breath in to finish. Exhale, guiding your attention, guiding your energy to your lower dantian. Allow the belly to relax fully and close. You can stay here a little longer just to be present with yourself, to concentrate your energy, <coughs> to get yourself grounded. Relax your hands by the side and finish. So to keep it short, we're going to finish here today, but feel free to do another Qigong practice straight away or do a Qigong meditation or whatever you feel like doing. Thank you for joining me here. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so I can continue releasing free Qigong videos on YouTube and you can benefit from the variety of exercises weekly. Until next time, I wish you great health, keep well, and I'll see you soon.